Hello friends, good evening. Today I am going to showcase a complete manufacturing use case in Odoo 19. In my last video, you might have seen like some of the accounting inventory valuation entry were missing. So with the help of Odoo officials and my friend Kevin Zaki, now let me complete that cycle and share you the updates how exactly inventory valuation works in Odoo 19 manufacturing. So first we will check the settings. So in accounting configuration, first we will do our inventory valuation settings where perpetual accounting will be set under inventory valuation, then average costing, then we will use the standard inventory valuation account and the journal. And then over here, cost of goods sold will be used as an expense account. Once that is done, what we will do, we will create more accounts like cost of production and cost of work center. These two accounts I have created under the header of cost of revenue type. After creating this account, the next step which you guys require to do is enable the multi-step route over here. And then once you enable, then you will be able to access the locations. And then you remove this internal filter and you will reach to production virtual location type. Okay, so this is now production type and we have to set cost of production account over here. This is mandatory. If it is set, then only your raw material consumption and finished goods inventory valuation will be registered. Once that is done, we will straight away go and enable our work center and then inside work center, I have configured cost of work center as an expense account in both the work center. Once this configuration is done, we will straight away go and see our bill of material where I have seen, I have set finished goods and then RM1 and RM2 and inside operation I have created operation 1 and operation 2 to run for 60 minutes each, a standard basic configuration to register entire movement. Now RM1 was costing $10, RM2 was costing $20 and then cost of operations are costing like work center 1 and work center 2 each. So over here in my work center, I have given $10 per work center and per employee and in work center 2, let me give $20 plus $20 each. So based on that, now if I check my bill of material, then I can see operation cost will be changed for work center 1 it is 10 plus 10 20 and 20 plus 20 40 for uh, work center cost and employee cost. So this is set. Now my standard cost of finished good will come at $90. Once that is done, then we can set our inventory flow on the product like finished goods I can replenish on order. And then as it is bill of material driven, then directly MO will be created in version 19. And over here, I am going to purchase this RM1 on make to order basis and RM2 also make to order basis. And I have defined my vendor with respective cost. Okay. Now over here, I will update the price from Bob and then let me create a sale order. So as soon as I create a sale order for this item and I confirm manufacturing order along with two purchase order will be created to procure my raw material. So this is how uh, Odoo will create an MO and connect it to POS because raw material I am only buying on need basis. So first I will go and confirm this POS to respective vendors. Once that is set, I will go to inventory and receive both the item. So I am doing this in bulk. My items are received. The valuation will only hit in Odoo accounting based on vendor bill creation. So over here, now if I go to accounting and I directly create vendor bill in both the vendor respectively, or I can go to my purchase order in purchase orders and I will select both the bills or POs which are waiting for bill and I just create this button and bills will be created and then I can bulk confirm these entries and valuation entry will be passed on this bill creation event. So RM1 and RM2 valuation will be there. 
Now if I see and check my balance sheet, I will see the valuation of both the inventory over here. So we can see RM1, RM2, I have purchased one one each based on my need. Now I can go back to my manufacturing order and then I can see the component status is available because both the component are available. I can plan and then I can start each and every operation. But to shorten the cycle of this video, I can directly produce all then 60 minutes of standard expected duration will be converted into real duration. As soon as I done this, entire finished good will be produced, the raw material consumption will be done. And over here in our balance sheet, now I can see inventory valuation with finished goods worth $90. So here are the entry where you can see MO6 has consumed my two raw material and I have received a finished good worth $90. Now let's see this $30 plus $60 more has been gone into cost of production. So if I go to my profit and loss, then I can see cost of work center will be registered over here for MO6 worth $60. So this is where you can register your cost of work center. And then this cost of production account will be used as an interim account to register consumption, to register the labor or work center charge. And then in reverse, it will return you the finished good entry. So that's where this cost of production account will be used to register our interim entries of consumption and finished goods retrieval. So one entry goes to our current asset inventory valuation account and second entry comes here. So that's how now you can see your entire production cycle will be complete with each and every valuation thing. Now if I go and check my sales order which was only originally you know, created based on make to order and I can now go and deliver this item. And then I can simply create the invoice to register my final product sales as well as inventory valuation credit and cost of goods sold debit entry over here in my invoice. The similar way like we did in Anglo section accounting with automation. So now if I refresh my balance sheet, my inventory valuation will be zero because whatever I have worth $90, I have delivered that. And in my profit and loss statement, now I can see sales has been registered with the sales amount and the cost of goods sold will be registered based on whatever item I have delivered to my customer as a finished goods. And then cost of work center will always be there which we can then settle down with our expense account or we can keep it under the credit like this. And you can pass a generic journal entry to register uh, the work center cost and employee cost as a salary separately. So this is how now you can see your raw material consumption as well as finished goods inventory in Udu 19 manufacturing with such settings. If you have any question, please reach out to me on my YouTube, LinkedIn or email. Hope this will help many people to start using Odoo 19 for simplified manufacturing process. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye.